All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Hey! What happened? What happened? What's going on this nonsense? Ah! I won't run away back to my front. You guys see that that driver don't smoke something. The guy know. Him. Are you mad? Are you mad? Look at this one. Look at this one. Good. Hey, 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 hold on, bro. I want that guy released. What? Mm hmm. You want me to release him after everything he has done? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'll give him two options. It's either he pays for the damages or he comes here, walks off his wages. Officially, you're my staff and you do whatever I say, when I say it. If I say jump, you ask how high. Is that clear? Ivy, what is this I'm hearing? What? 10 million naira in a day? Who's this 10 million naira in a day for Christ in this economy? Daddy, just calm down. It's just 10 million. Did you say just, just 10 million? Mm-hmm. God, how did I end up with this kind of child? Oh, here we go again. Leave my room. What? I said leave my room. Why? I said leave my room. Jimmy, get out of my room. Sir? I said get out of my room! Touch me. Just try it. Sir? Daddy! I said, I said out! I'm warning him! Take her out! If he touches me, Daddy! Don't touch me! With your permission, sir! I don't... I don't... Jameson, I am willing to give my daughter's hand in marriage to you. What? She put you in this condition, so it's only fair and right that she takes care of it. You're trying to pull a prank on me. Okay, fine, it worked. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ivy, you made your bed. You will lie on it. All right, guys, uh, let's talk about this one, Hello Port. A uh, very interesting movie, by the way. Um, if you guys haven't watched it, please, you'll see the link at the bottom. Uh, go and watch it. Now, you know, this really boils down to parents and kids. You see, it's somewhat a helpless situation because most of the time, parents that, you know, that are really trying their best to make a better life for their kids find it hard to find that balance being with the kid you know giving them time and then making the money you know it's usually two extremes if you're out making the money it's somewhat hard to be around and be hanging with the kids at home so you tend to see situations where there's a lot of kids especially these rich folks that you know they're out and about today they're in japan tomorrow they're in china next tomorrow they're in europe you know you know trying to source products or close deals or things like that you know you tend to notice that they're hardly around you know months and months might go by and they have not even seen their kids uh, you know and stuff like that sometimes get to kids especially when there's also no video calls you see this time and age there's definitely a lot of ways to kind of cope that situation you know but most of the parents technology is not really a thing you know if it is then definitely you have to apply it. even if you're far away you should be able to do video calls here and there you know you know and definitely still keep them up to par you know oh i'm doing this oh how was school today you know tell me about it you know that's definitely something that can bridge the gap so but before i really digress into solutions uh, the problem here boils down to you know, when the parents are not around, the kid grows up feeling left alone, feeling that little resentment of, you know, not having uh, the parents or, you know, her parents around. And sometimes it leads to that attention seeking. As you can see, this particular movie, uh, Hello Pot, it really boils down to she did not get the attention that she needed when she was growing up. So she found ways to get their attention so by looking for trouble knowing very well that the dad will come running to her rescue so it became a thing and she grew up with it and of course as you guys can see it led to some violent behavior that now got her to the situation of where she was now let's talk about the situation she damaged somebody's eyes and the father asked her to marry the guy um, based on you know you have damaged his eyes now you have to you know live your whole life helping him heal or you know caring for him whatever the situation was gonna be you know and you know there's a lot of 
controversy as to if what the father did is right. You know, is it okay to hand over your child to somebody because they hurt the person? You know, because you know now you know the person is not happy with them. So handing over your kid to them, are you now just setting her up to also be a damaged person? You know, or is there some benefits besides teaching her a lesson? People get accidents and people hurt themselves, and you know some people would be of the opinion that you should just find something that would have pleased the man that his eyes got blinded you know find something that would please him and you know since you have the funds the money to do it you know make that happen and that's a valid argument as opposed to handing your daughter to him and you know now he's upset at her and you know of course she doesn't even like the fact because you know she's on a whole different trajectory in life so you know to be honest if you ask me, I wouldn't think that that's the best, you know, to hand your child over to the, you know, to the man that she hurt so that, you know, they will now get married and, you know, he will now deal with her for the rest of him. I don't think that's a good idea. You know, there's a lot of things that the man could be happy with, you know, there's a lot of things. So it would have been better if you asked me to just find something that the man would appreciate getting. You know in exchange now keep in mind is his sight so it's gone be say it's gone you know but it still doesn't mean that you know he might not be able to lead a comfortable life you know with it the question is you know what could be done for him so that you know as he's living this you know little sorrowful life he will find a lot of things to be happy about and I think that is so, you know in my own opinion I wouldn't have supported the fact of handing over the daughter to the man. Sometimes it might end up bad. The man might actually really maltreat her so much. He might drive her crazy, lead to death, whatever the situation may be. So I wouldn't really recommend that. But you know, in this life, people make choices. And sometimes, you know, it's like what they say in Igbo is uh, uh, uche baba. You know, everybody carry their own. The mind is like a bag and everybody is carrying their own. So, you know, essentially he did what he felt was right, you know upset at the daughter upset at the situation and everything you know and yes he did end up well but you know maybe if i'm to advise i wouldn't i wouldn't take the option of handing my daughter to um you know a man that she hurt you know to go and marry you know, i wouldn't pick that option but of course you know um, it is what it is so guys if you've not watched this movie definitely go and watch it if you love this kind of content please like share subscribe follow this is cj from mcnary studios and i'm here to deliver sets